Hi everyone, as promised, this is my first show, I Muscle TV's chat show, and you're with myself, Ryan Jean-Baptiste, WBFF Pro Fitness Model. And today what we'll be talking about is um, how to become a fitness model. I get so many questions on Twitter and Facebook um, about how to get into it, what should I do. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little brief information of what we can do and how we can start. Okay, first thing I would always say, okay, I would always say, try to enter a fitness model competition. Um, a few good positive points for, for that reason is because um, to get to enter a fitness model competition, okay, um, you have to be get yourself into shape. Okay, a fitness model needs to look in good shape all year round, I would say. Um, so say it, it's now November and your competition's in April, um, that gives you a good goal um, to get yourself into that physique um, that a fitness model should look like. That's the first thing I'd say. Enter fitness model competition. There are loads of competitions out there. Um, I can name a few. WBFF, um, they run a number of shows around the world. Miami Pro, which is UK based, and there's loads more. Um, you can just obviously Google, type it in. Also, you could check my website as well. So, becoming a fitness model and entering a competition, what what does that give? What how does that make you become a fitness model? Well, first of all, I would say exposure. Okay, it gives you massive exposure to the actual fitness model world. People find out about you, and you might just get into magazines as well, and you can then start writing articles and actually become a fitness model. A fitness model is, again, your marketing um, a good physique. So you're actually modelling fitness as such. So that is a good way. Fitness model competition. So that's where I started in 2009. Again, now it's only 2012. And again, I didn't expect it. I just entered my first competition uh, in Brighton um, in 2009. I think it was August. But again, it wasn't a massive competition, but I had, I think, I was up against 10 others. And luckily, I won my category. I didn't have an idea. I didn't, literally, I didn't know what I was doing on stage. I just went up there and I blagged it. But it worked for me, and I got that lucky break. And now, obviously, I've done a few things um, from that time. And I've made a success, a success in becoming, um, at the moment now, I'm a WFF Pro Fitness Model. Um, again, I've always wanted to change myself, become better. So, um, and I'm also trying to help you lot uh, get into the industry and become successful as well, and have your own kind of um, way to promote fitness to others, which is the uh, which is a big major part. Okay, so to become a fitness model and to be and being a fitness model. Um, you have to, I would say, keep in good shape all year round because you never know what can come up. Okay, so I'm actually got a photo shoot next week. Um, Optin Nutrition, who are my sponsor, they, oh, as you can see, um, they um, emailed me and said, right, we've got a photo shoot and can you be available for this day? And it's at the time, it was two weeks' time. Because I stay in and around 12% body fat, um, that I can get myself ready for that shoot. Um, again, you get a lot of people um, blow up, naming no names, um, like bodybuilders and such, people like that. They blow up and then they come back down. For me, I like to stay quite lean all year round and then I'm always ready for any um, last minute call ups, um, which could be photo shoots, any jobs as well, which I'll go into in a minute. So yeah, that is very important. Keep yourself in good condition all year round. So like I said before, anyone can become a fitness model. Um, get yourself into good shape. Um, you know, keep it uh, throughout the year as well. And again, there are other ways you can become a fitness model. You can have you can get jobs, so you can try and join agencies, fitness model agencies. Um, there's one I was with, uh, W Athletic. They're good. Uh, they again, they take I think it's maybe 20% commission off the job that you get, but they find the jobs for you, which is good. Um, again, so that's more exposure. Again, you could be 
you know, you could get into movies as like, um, what do you call it, extras, um, like games, anything, literally adverts, uh, music videos. And again, you are a fitness model, so they might need a good physique for a film as well. So again, it's like I said, always be in good shape because um, again, you're representing fitness and you represent yourself as well. In a way, you are a brand, so um, you want to kind of promote that and make yourself, make your brand look good for, um, throughout the year as well. As well, again, if you're actually talking about fitness and you, you, you know, you're, you're promoting it, telling others, you have to keep yourself in good shape as well. So that's how, that's why I personally like to stay in shape so I can kind of give the advice because I can prove it myself. Again, okay, hopefully this show um, helps you into starting off in uh, starting off your fitness model career. Um, again, hit me up any other questions, comment below the video, and again I'll reply and maybe even go to my website as well and just read the articles that I've got about becoming a fitness model um, and loads of other subjects um, relating to becoming a fitness model. Um, so again. I'm also TV chat show. See you soon. And yeah, be good.